It's very good to come to you today live if you're from Paradise Ridge, Alabama. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen such a discouraging time as we have today? Have you ever seen such disheartening news as we have today that's going on? And it seems like everywhere you turn, you see things that are happening and and things that are taking place. And it, at one point, it, it's encouraging in a way because Jesus is about to return, but at the same time, it is so sad to see the heartache and the discouragement that's going on out in this world. In First Samuel chapter 30, I want to just read some verses and make a few comments tonight if we can. We're talking about King David and his 600 mighty men. And First Samuel chapter 30, starting with verse 1, it says, And it came to pass, when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captive that were therein, they slew, they, they slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. They carried them on and went on their way. We see here that David and his men had returned from, uh, from being with the Philistines to go out to war and they come back to Ziklag which had been given to David and his mighty men and when they returned they uh, as they were coming home I could almost imagine their their heart's failure as they seen the smoke from the fire of the city as it was burning from afar off and as they come they seen everything was gone and you know that had to be discovered. I mean, when you get bad news, it has to, and everything is going wrong, it, it does something to you physically, mentally, and emotionally. And it is so easy to get so down and discouraged at events that's going on. Sometimes life is, it, it just, gives us almost like a, a lemon, if you will. We hear bad news on every hand, on every side. It seems as though nothing goes right at times. And, and, and things just happen that we just so often don't understand. Verse 3, So David and his men came to the city. Behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. They've lost everything. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept till they had no more power to weep. They had a good cry, if you will. Have you ever just wept and cried till you could just cry?